Hello you guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another Simple Stories Saturday. Since um, I am doing a completely different kit from my scrap stash smash uh, Saturday today, we're also going to scrap lift somebody from earlier in the month that a lot of other people did and it is scrappygal13 is her Instagram. I'm going to this is the one I'm going to scrap lift. I will have it up in the corner and show you a bigger version as well. But I thought that would be kind of fun. Do some messy circles, do photos. I've got lots of good pattern paper. Um, and yeah. So, and I'm actually, I'm very tempted to use this as my background and then have more solid colored um, circles be my circles, but I'm still on the fence with that because I've got a lot of good cut aparts too. So I don't know what I want to do. Typical, but there's this beautiful, uh, beautiful, <laughs> large title all set to go for me. Um, in this part of the kit that I got and a lot of other fun things. So this is Simple Story, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. It was a, a scrap room kit, one of the flavors of the month, I think a little bit ago. I can't remember when, because I've got a bunch of extras too. So yeah, lots of fun things had, but we are going to definitely scrap lift Scrappygal13. Uh, she will be linked down below. Yeah, a lot of cut aparts in this one, so it wasn't the greatest one to choose with the scrap lift, but we will do our best. Um, yeah, I just got to figure out what I want to do. That's what I got to figure out. And I got to figure out photos. So let me start melding my mind and getting this decisions made, and um, we will check back in with you shortly. All right, I decided that I wasn't going to use any of the papers I had in my little scrap room kit of the Simple Stories collection for my background. I went and grabbed, um, I have like this, it's like a watercolor paper pad. I don't know how to describe it. I, I put it back already. But I had this one. This was like the lightest one I had. Um, oh, I guess it did have orange on this side. I could have used that side. Um, but I used the pink side. The pink is actually very close to the pinks and it's all distressed. So what I've done is I've added clear gesso onto it. It's still a little damp, um, but I think we're going to add some more color so that we get kind of the effect um, that her background had. And I happen to have um, these new uh, shimmers acrylic sprays. And so I think I might use some of these. So there's a little bit of yellow. There's all different the fun thing about the distress lines is there's so many different shades of everything that it kind of doesn't matter. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the blue. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the green. Then we need like a purple. Whoop. So I'm going to go see what I have for other shimmers. And I'm hoping it'll just kind of move around kind of nice. And then I'm taking from some of the scraps that I have. Where's my other circle? I'm taking and cutting out three inch circles and then kind of just cutting them wonky. Um, this one ended up kind of looking like a heart. So mine are gonna be, they, she had four that were um, across the page. I'm only gonna have three, I think. And then I have this photo that I found. Uh, my husband and me, um, my son and his Auntie Anne were watching a volleyball game. So, and then this one says celebrate every day, which is awesome. And I think I'm gonna back it with some of the papers like from this, and then maybe the black card stock. I gutted it, um, put it on here as well. I'm gonna fussy cut some of the butterflies. I think we will, um, I might try to get this camera, but we're just going to try to get a solid of maybe, and then maybe do like this one and the newsprint for a circle, maybe this side, just try to get some of the more solid colors, even though, I mean, none of that's really happening here. Um, but yeah, try to get some of that happening. So yeah, I think I'm going to back this with black. But anyway, I'm cutting them at three inch and then I'm just kind of cutting them wonky and then I'm distressing them with my distress tool. 
So I'm going to go ahead and back my photo in black and then behind it with this find um, some more colors and just add some color to the background as that dries and fussy cut some butterflies and get some other things all set to go and then we will assemble when I've got that all but um, hopefully I will find a purple spray as well because I think that would be the next best color to add would be purple because there's plenty of pink in the background but to add a little purple maybe would be good to all the other colors because then I've got a little yellow maybe some orange orange might be good too but these are acrylic sprays they're their new stuff so they're not, they're opaque they're like basically solid they're not see-through they're not translucent at all and they're but they're gorgeously vibrant um, so yeah so I'm gonna keep doing that and that will be our scrap lift for scrap a gale 13 all right time for some spritzing I've got some butterflies fussy cut out I've got all my circles that I wanted I've got all the other goodies um, over here ready. I don't think I'll use this. I grabbed it thinking I maybe would. I don't know if I will, but I'm gonna keep it over here just in case. So I have, so three of the new Shimmers acrylic sprays, glossy acrylic sprays. This one's called Sea Breeze. This green is called Once Upon a Lime, and this is Squeeze the Day. And then I also grabbed colorings from Shimmer's Freshly Squeeze, a little bit of orange. And then I figured some Shaded Lilac Distress Oxide Spray would also be good. So I've clear gessoed this. Let's hope. Um, right now I like the layout I've got. I've got this one glued to that circle, so I'm going to try and glue these really quick so I can lay them down. Um, in just literally exact way that they are and if I have four of them attached to the photo it'll just make it a little bit easier then um, to put them right back where I liked them and so like I said she had one of those backgrounds that was already colored for her so I'm just gonna add some color so we get kind of a similar look is my plan that's the plan. So let's start, let's do some purple first and see if we can get, I just want it to go a little, and I, like I said, I clear gessoed this, so hopefully we can get it where we want it. That's always the question, like, will it do what I want it to do? I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry. Ugh, I'm so impatient. That's not gonna go well. Okay. And then I can add maybe some greens. Let's do green over here. Unfortunately, my some of my black cardstock is not <laughs> gessoed. Um, so that will be and water it down so I can get it to move a little. And then this is going to be very wet. I hope this goes up on time because I slacked again, like usual, and usually, and I am doing this the day it's due because this week was crazy working at a school let me tell you um okay I kind of liking that and then the circles are gonna be right here I've got that color I hope it sticks out pretty good we're gonna let this dry and then I'm actually gonna splatter it with um, the white that I got, the white acrylic. We're gonna try out the white and see how it splatters. We are warped beyond repair, but that's fine. That is fine. We are going to start gluing down things and getting this layout finished. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need to fussy coat those out. I don't think I will. Um, so I don't need this. Beautiful. But I was gonna maybe do beautiful and then moments underneath it. We will do some of these enamel glitter enamel dots. 
we will do some of our fussy cut butterflies. I don't think we'll do the camera. We could just stick this up here because she had something. That would be really cute, actually. My circles don't have as much, they have more stuff going on in them because they're pattern paper and that. So I'm not going to need, I feel like, as much embellishing as she did. I mean, she didn't do a ton. It's not a ton. It's not like it's like crazy over embellished, but her circles are solids. Mine are not. So they already have a lot going on and I feel like adding more just kind of hurts my eyeballs. So I honestly don't know how much I'm going to embellish. definitely going to use some of these but I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use. I think we're going to do aqua. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. white splatters like I told you guys I was gonna so we're gonna do it now I have um put in cat hairs apparently into my layout yep. I'm gonna do some white splatters with this new acrylic Perfect. Love it. All right, there is my simple story Saturday, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out everyone who is playing along. Down below, I'll have some close ups for you here shortly. I don't even need to trim those off, they went right to the end. And I appreciate you. Bye.